Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm glad to uh, organizers uh, to come here and uh, give me a chance to uh, such a nice workshop. Okay. So let's start. This is the uh, title of my talk. Okay. So this is joint work with my student Shmojo. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, kind of prototype of my today's talk. So I'd like to explain this uh, first. Oh, sorry. F is a map, a bijective map between uh, two same skew diagrams with n boxes. Of course, this is simple bijective map, so this whole, the whole set is just a symmetric loop. Okay. So there is a famous Robinson Chessnet correspondence. Then we obtain a pair of standard tableau, P and Q. So this is a basic story. Then so picture, picture is a some generalization of such bijections uh, between skew diagrams or Young diagrams. Okay, then we would like to see what does come here. Uh, so it's just a, I, 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 we call it a retooled rejection crystals. Okay, so the basic reference for this story is a, a by Zerebinsky's paper. Okay. So Young diagram. So people here knows Young diagram so well. Today, so we identify a Young diagram with a subset of uh, n by n is a natural set of natural numbers n by n. Okay. So, for example, so this has a this is column number and this is a row number. So this A has a coordinate 2, 3. Okay. This is 2, 3. Okay. For example, uh, this Young diagram is ident identified with such set of coordinates. Okay. This is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2. Okay. Then, uh, next we introduce uh, several orders on the subset of n by n. Oh, sorry. Uh, first one is partial order P, and second one is a total order J. This partial order is uh, just the usual <coughs> partial order, so we compare the each uh, coordinate A and C and B and D, like this. This is partial order. And the second one is total order J. So it, it's a kind of lexicographic order. So we compare first coordinate A, C. And then if they are equal, so we compare the second uh, coordinate. But be, be careful. Uh, here is uh, B is greater than or equal to D. So in that case, uh, we have uh, such inequalities. So, Why is it called J? Uh, <laughs> I, I follow uh, Zerbinsky's notation, so <laughs> I'm not sure why he used uh, he used J. So I'm not sure. <laughs> so the order J is uh, just like this. No, no. <laughs> Small and large, like this, this order. Later, so this, uh, we uh, introduce a uh, reading according to these orders. And then, for example, uh, we have uh, such inequalities. Okay. And then we, now we define the picture. What is picture? First, we consider a map between uh, 
set subset of n by n x and y. Okay. Then f is said to be a p, said be uh, said to be p j standard if it satisfies uh, these conditions. So this means f preserved the order p to <coughs> j. Okay. So these conditions. The, the, this part p and this part j. Okay. So x y has a uh, order j. Then. F is a picture if F is bijective, and both uh, F and F inverse are PJ standard. So this means F, of course, satisfies this condition, and F inverse satisfies from Y to X. In that case, Y has ordered P, and then so X has ordered J. If inverse satisfies PJ standard, means so that. Then next we review some result of crystals or crystal bases. Uh, here lambda means a Young diagram, and then we can identify with this uh, dominant integral weight of type A n. So now we suppose that lambda has n boxes. This notation means the number of boxes in lambda. B of lambda is a set of young tableau of shape lambda with entries 1 and so on and plus 1. Okay, so here we mean young tableau is usual same standard tableau. Okay. This is a crystal of the irreducible highest with UKN module V of lambda. Okay. Then here capital lambda 1 means a first fundamental weight. It corresponds to a single box, single box young diagram. Okay. And capital B uh, is B lambda 1 is just a crystal of vector representation V box. This has n plus 1 elements, one box 1, box 2, and so on, box n plus 1. Okay. So there are several embedding of crystals from B of lambda to B tensor n. n is the number of boxes in <coughs> lambdas. Okay. So this embedding is not unique because, uh, you know, uh, for example, uh, uh, B tensor 3 has two such hook. Can, you can see it? No, such hook. Because then, so we can embed this two ways. So this embedding is not unique. Okay. S then, so we'd like to see this uh, embedding more <coughs> precisely. And it is called a leading. Uh, there are several leadings, but uh, we would like to treat what uh, two uh, popular readings. First one is Far Eastern reading, Fe denoted Fe, and the uh, second one is Middle Eastern reading. Uh, this notation follows a book by Hong and Kant's book. Maybe you used the first. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I found this notation. Uh, this terminology in his book. Okay, so for some readings uh, is as follows: We read the entries in T. T is a Young tableau from the top to the bottom in each row, column, and then move on to the next column from right to left. So we read a uh, tableau. Oh, oops, sorry. Like this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe for oh what's that? Okay. Do not mind, okay. <laughs> 
And uh, what? So next one is Middle Eastern reading is uh, we read entries in T from right to left in each row and then move on to the next row, uh, top to bottom, it's just right. Indeed, it is just uh, follow, it follows the order J, you know, like this. We read. Of course, there are more, more and more uh, readings, but in this talk, so we treat this ME mainly, and uh, later I introduce uh, more general readings. Okay. For example, uh, this T, uh, if we have T's, uh, we read like this 3, 2, 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 5. 3, 2, 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 5. And then we have T, we lead from here, 3, 2, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 5. 3, 2, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 5. Okay. Then, so, we introduce one more thing, this is called addition. What is addition? Uh, I is an element of B, B is a crystal of vector representations. Then so addition of I to lambda, lambda is a Young diagram. Then so I, la lambda I is like this. So we add just one to I, I low. Okay. In general, addition of I1 tensor and so I n, to a young diagonal lambda is uh, just like this. We uh, uh, repeat addition, each addition like this. I1, I2, and so on, I n. This is uh, addition. For example, uh, addition of 3, 1, 2, 1, 3 to this young diagram is uh, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. And finally, we obtain this young diagram, 4, 3, 1. Here note that a uh, result of addition is not necessarily a Young diagram. Because, uh, for example, this example, we consider addition of 2, 2, 1, 3, 3 to this lambda. Then in the second step, we have such diagram. This diagram is no longer a Young diagram, okay? But the uh, final result is a Young diagram. But uh, sometimes we have a uh, non young diagram uh, some, in some step. Okay. This, we have such possibilities. Then we explain, we review Richard Richardson rules. Uh, we take two young diagrams, lambda and mu. Okay. Then there is an isomorphism of crystals here. Uh, we consider tensor product of B of lambda and B of mu. Then it is isomorphic to this direct product of Young diagram, and sorry, uh, crystals. Okay. Here, J1, J2, and so Jn is uh, satisfying these conditions. Here, T is uh, an element of B of mu, B of mu here. Okay. Then we consider a uh, reading Feistan reading here. Originally, we, I considered the uh, Feistan readings. Then, so, we consider an uh, addition of J1 and so Jn to lambda, to lambda. Then we need, uh, in each step, in each step, k equal 1 and so on, n, in all steps, this, this diagram should be a Young diagram. Okay? So we have such isomorphism, and we call this uh, Ritur-Dur-Jason rule in terms of crystals. And uh, of course, note that uh, we can replace Fe with Me, Middle Eastern reading, and later, so this part can be generalized to other readings, okay? So now, oops, we see some example 
uh, for example, we think such uh, two diagrams. Okay, so the, for 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 this mu, two two two. B of mu is uh, consists of such six elements. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then we consider a Middle Eastern reading of these elements. Then we read one, one, two, two, or one, one, three, two, one, one, three, three, two, one, three, two, two, one, three, three, two, two, three, three. Okay, then we try an addition these vectors to this diagram lambda. Okay, one, one, two, two, so one, one, two, two. So in all steps, each diagram is just a Young diagram. And the second case is also, but the third case, final diagram is no longer Young diagram. So we do not take this one. Okay? And fourth, fifth, and the last one, uh, in second step, this is no, this is not a young diagram. So the result is as follows. We have a such isomorphism. We, in, in six cases, we need four of them. Here, these ones. Okay. Then we now define the little Richardson crystals. We take three Young diagrams, lambda, mu, nu. Uh, so I forgot to write. Uh, we need uh, conditions, the number of boxes lambda plus mu equals to the number of boxes in nu. Okay, anyway. So first one is P mu, nu minus lambda is a set of all pictures between uh, mu, from mu to uh, nu minus lambda. This is a set of pictures. And the second one is B of mu, lambda nu. This is a subset of B of mu. And then this satisfies the condition just I, oh sorry, these conditions. Satisfies these conditions. And the final, final form is just, it should be <coughs> mu. No, no, nu. Okay. We call it a little JSON crystal. Okay, this is a subset of V of mu. Okay, then uh, C lambda mu nu is usual little JSON number. Okay, then uh, the in famous book by Fulton, he uh, pointed out that the number of pictures is equal to little JSON number, and then in my paper, so we can know that this equality. Then we guess there exists a natural and simple one-to-one -one correspondence between these sets. Okay, so this is the main topics of today's talk. Then we constructed the map between these sets. A map phi. This is a map from the set of pictures to uh, Ritter Richardson crystal. Okay. Lambda mu nu as uh, young diagrams below. And the phi from here to here is defined as follows. That is, phi sends a picture. So here f1 means a number uh, low. And uh, f2 means a number of column, column number. It sends to phi of f i j. That means that uh, phi of f is a tableau of shape mu, with i j entry is just f one i j. This is a column number. Okay. So I I think this this map is very simple. So let's see the example. Uh, we take lambda, mu, nu like this. And then mu is identified with the set of these coordinates. And uh, nu minus lambda is identified with a set of these coordinates. Here's one, four, 
two, 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 three, three, two, four, one. Okay. And this matrix means uh, F is mapped from uh, here to here. So this coordinate sends to this one. This coordinate sends to here. This one, this one. So from top to bottom. Okay. And so we can uh, check easily this is a picture between these diagrams. Uh, F is like this. Uh, this diamond goes to here, uh, club here, heart, um, spade, and natural, like this. Then we apply this to this map F. Okay, so we see the first coordinate is one, two, two, three, four. Okay, then we put one in coordinate one one. So we have one here, okay? And we put two, first coordinate, put uh, two in one, two here. And we put two in one, three here. And we put three in two, one. And finally, we put four in two, two. Then we obtain such a uh, young tableau. okay? And next, we introduced the inverse map uh, from Richard the Richardson crystal to set of pictures. Okay. Uh, to define, in order to define, we, we, before defining this, we need some preparations. Uh, here, lambda mu nu is below, and then T upper K is a subset of mu. Uh, it's a whole set of the coordinates of, with entry k. Yes. <laughs> okay, so t is an uh, element of b of mu. So let's see example. t is, uh, we take t such a uh, young tableau. And here t upper 1 is a whole set of coordinates with entry 1. So 1, 1, and 1, 2. Here's 1, 1, and 1, 2. Here's 1. And the T upper 2 is a whole set of coordinates with entry 2. 2 is, we have three 2s. Here's 1, 3. Here's 2, 1, 2, 2. So this is up 2. And so on. Okay. Then we can define the map psi from here to here. Uh, we take T from this set. Then psi of T is a map from here to here. Then it take it, it sends IJ to here. Okay. Your TIJ is the entry in T. This is entry IJ. Okay. And lambda TIJ lambda means uh, this diagram. This is the length low length of the low. Tij low plus p. So p, I, I, I have to explain what, what is p. Okay. So psi makes a table t to a picture, which sends ij to this one. Where ij is the pth element in t upper k from the right. This means uh, we lead. Uh, for example, uh, T2 case, this is the first one, second one, and third one, from right, one, two, three. So in that case, if we take t k equal to 2, this has p equal 1. This has p equal 2. This has p equal 3. Okay. So we have a such map from here to here. Of course, we have to see uh, where definiteness of these maps or something like that. Let's see the example. Uh, we, we see this example uh, <coughs> already, but uh, let's see. Uh, we take uh, such young diagrams and mu and nu minus lambdas. And we take t. t is the uh, element in this little Richardson crystals. One, two, two, three, four. 
then mir is identified with such set of coordinates 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 the entry tij t11 one, one equal 1 t12 two equal 2 t13 equal 2 t21 equal 3 t2 t22 two, two equal 4 okay then the for this is the first coordinate this become first coordinate then lambda tij here tij equal 1 so lambda 1 lambda 1 is 3 the number of boxes in the first row of lambda okay and lambda 2 this is 2 lambda 2 is 1 and lambda 3 is 1 and lambda 4 is 0 okay so 3 1 1 1 0 this is the low length of low of lambda and the p is uh, first of all one this this is only one only one one here so in this case p equal one the two there are two twos so this two has uh, one p equal one this two has p equal two okay then others also only one here then the p equal one and finally we have a psi of t is like this and this is we can easily check that this is a picture and indeed this is uh, we see it uh, as before oh. Oh, yeah indeed this f okay then the main term one, one of the main terms in today's talk uh, now we obtain the two maps psi, phi and psi so uh, lambda mu nu as as below no 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 as above then phi is a well defined bijective map and phi inverse equal to psi so they are inverse each other okay so we have to see to to in order to show this theorem we have to see the following things uh, sorry we have one more example so we, we have already these examples uh, f and the t1 already so indeed in these settings so uh, picture p has two elements f and g this one is already uh, been introduced and the second one is a new one is uh, like this uh, I do not touch anymore so but uh, like this then so look the first coordinates this one we have already so we try to see it uh, one one is one one two is two one three is four two one equals two 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 equals three so we have our two young tableaus and then we can easily see check that this is uh, just uh, this Richardson crystals so this means phi f equal t1 phi g equal t2 and the psi t1 equal f and the psi t2 equal g okay then how to prove it we have to see three things first one is where defineness of phi the second one is where defineness of psi and finally the bijectivity of phi and psi uh, what is the where dependence of phi we have to see first f uh, for, for a picture f phi of f should be a young tableau of shape mu and it also satisfies the this condition additions conditions for additions okay then we can see it the image uh, <coughs> in uh, little Richardson crystal and the next one uh, with dependence of psi so t is a element of LR crystal then this should be a map from here mu to nu minus lambda and uh, psi t should be a bijection and finally both psi t and psi t inverse should be a pj standard okay and finally bijectivities okay of course so today i do not uh, prove it whole 
whole thing. So I introduced two key lemmas for, for this proof. The first one is uh, such things. Uh, we take these young diagrams. The F, we take F a picture and set Middle Eastern reading of phi of F. Uh, so before, show to, before seeing this lemma, we, we have proved already uh, phi of F is a young, diagram, young, young tableau already. This lemma need, is needed to show the second well-definedness. Okay. Here let P, K, Q, K is the place of this IK originally in F of phi of F. This is young, young tableau. And if A, K, B, K is the place of K to addition. So this A, K goes to uh, some place in new by addition. So we have uh, some coordinate. Then, so we have an uh, image of PKQK equal to AK PKs. Okay. For example, uh, we take picture F. If we look at uh, this second one. File wave is like this. Then we look this two and take uh, Middle Eastern reading, then this is 2 to 1, 3, 3, 2 to 1, 3, 3. So by the additions, this 2 goes to here because uh, 2, 2, so lambda is like this. So 2, 2, okay, and then 1, 3, 3, okay, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3. So the second 2 goes to uh, coordinate 2, 3. Then 2, 3 is just an uh, image of picture, image by picture. Okay, this is the first lemma. And second lemma seems to be very similar to the first one. Uh, we take a table uh, T, and IJ is uh, <coughs> coordinated in mu. Okay, then the image of psi of T we set uh, P, Q. Then the destination by J by the addition of M of T is equal to P, Qs. So we see example T is a, a young tableau in B, B of mu lambda nu. Then psi of T is like this. Then we see second one. Then this goes to here. So this means uh, psi of T, I, J equal to P, Q. Okay. So these two lemmas, lemma one and lemma two, are very similar. So what's the difference? So the almost <laughs> very same, but uh, we assume, first one, we assume picture, the picture given. The second one, we, we gave a tableau T. The, from here, we obtain uh, some tableau psi of f, phi, phi of f, then we consider reading and the additions. So this coincides with the uh, image or picture. And the second one is we, first we gave T. Then we have a map from here to here, okay? And it image and the uh, reading and the additions, so we have a coincidence of these things, okay? So these are key lemmas in our stories, okay. Uh, then so we, this, we, we use these lemmas to prove the weighted defendants of phi and psi. And then so we needed to show the uh, bijectivity of phi and psi, but uh, uh, I, can, I can't do that in this talk. So I show some example. Uh, we have already seen it, uh, so I would like to uh, don't skip, but uh, see lightly. So we take F here, okay? Then we consider phi, then we have a tableau. And again, we apply uh, 
psi to this t. And again, we have this map. Then it is equal to original f. Okay. Of course, uh, this is also the inverse <coughs> one. This is also we have this t, and then and then so we have a map. This is a picture, and then so finally we have a <coughs> that table again. Okay, this means the bijectivities of phi and psi, and the inverse each other. Then so we have a generalization of these stories. So this is admissible leading. Now introduce admissible leading. Admiss what is admissible leading? It's a total order A on X. X is a subset of N by N. It is called admissible if it satisfies for any A, B, and C, D. We compare this and this. Then if it's satisfied, then so we have this order, always. So important point is, so it seems to be a partial order, but not. Because we first assume it's total order, then so it satisfies this condition, so we have always, the, always this condition, so it means this is admissible. So admissible is not unique. There are many, many admissible orders on subset X. For example, uh, ME leading, uh, sorry, uh, 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 J is also an admissible order. Okay. Then so we can consider admissible leading according to this admissible order. R of A, R sub A is a uh, leading. A, it is called an admissible leading associated with admissible order A if we lead entries in T according to this A. Okay. So if we have admissible order, then we have admissible leadings every time. Okay. And there are several admissible orders and admissible leadings on a subset. Of course, X is very simple. For example, one, one row or one column, so there are only one order, one unique admissible orders, but uh, other cases we have several admissible orders. Uh, ME reading and FE reading, Middle Eastern or Far Eastern reading uh, are kinds of admissible readings. Okay, so for example, to read this tableau by like this, one, two, three, four, so three to one, four, three, five, one to five. This is admissible leading. Okay, one of admissible leadings. Then, uh, we can generalize a uh, notion of pictures. A a prime admissible picture. A PA standard. Set F is a map from X to Y. X and Y are subsets of N by N. And A is admissible, uh, an admissible order on Y. Okay. Then F is called PA standard. If uh, P, P is just we already defined, the A, B, and C, D. So then F satisfies this condition. So we call F is PA standard. Now A A admissible A A prime admissible picture is F is a map from X to Y and A is an admissible order on Y and A prime is an admissible order on X. Okay. Now F is an A A prime admissible picture if F is bijective, P A standard and F inverse is P A prime standard. So. On X, I'm sorry, on Y, we have uh, admissible order A. And on X, we have admissible order A prime. So this means uh, like this, so from, from X to Y, so F satisfies these conditions. And from Y to X, F inverse satisfies these conditions. So we call this a prime admissible picture. OK? 
Okay. Then we also generalize little resolution on crystal. We take an admissible order on mu. Mu is a young, young diagram. In the definition of LR crystal replacing ME part with RA. RA is a one, admi one of admissible leading. We get uh, such subset of B of mu, okay? RA of T is a leading, so we have such tensor product of vector represent crystals of vector representations. Then for any case, so we have uh, this addition is always a young diagram and finally it becomes new. Remark, so order J, so original LR crystal is, uh, we replace this part J, okay? It is known that in Hon and Kahn books, this LR crystal does not depend on the choice of admissible order. So it means this one. So this A, is arbitrary uh, admissible order, but uh, set, as a set of tableau, these two sets is just equal. Okay. And next is main theorems. So we take three diagrams as, as before. Then A is admissible order on mu, and A prime is admissible order on nu minus lambda. And the set P mu, nu minus lambda, a a prime is a set of uh, a a prime admissible pictures, okay? Then we also define, we can define the maps phi and psi similarly to the previous cases. Previous means the for order uh, j. Now finally, we can show that uh, these two maps is uh, bijection we well, defined by ejection from here to here, from here to here, and they are inverse each other. The proof is more and more complicated compared with the uh, previous cases. So in very <laughs> complicated combinatorial arguments we need. But anyway, we can do that, okay? Then, so let's see this diagram. So, in the former half of the talk, I, I introduced this part. From here to here, this is a map psi from return to Richardson crystal to the set of pictures. And then in the latter half, uh, not half, <laughs> anyway, so I introduced uh, this return to Richardson crystal associated with this admissible order. Then we have a one-to-one -one <coughs> correspondence by psi from here to here, okay? Then, so we know this set indeed same, okay? This set same. And this psi indeed does not depend on the choice of the order A and A ply. So this means, so same set, same map, finally we have this part are same. So indeed, admissible pictures are indeed set same as original pictures. Okay. okay this is the result in uh, paper uh, I and my students, Simojo. Okay. But we have to see more general settings. Indeed, uh, Fomin and Glenn or Van Ruwen. Uh, they showed uh, these things in more general settings. What is more general settings is as follows uh, for the problems. So we take here, this mu is a young diagram. This is not skew diagram. This is usual young diagrams. But they show this one. Uh, take this mu is skew diagram. So we would like to see two skew diagrams, mu1 and mu2, with the same number of boxes. Then let f be a picture. We can define pictures on a subset of n by n. Then we'd like to see 
there exists natural bijection between pictures and the pair of LR crystals. So in, in, our, in our work, we have single, uh, not pair, single LR crystals. But uh, if we take this part, uh, skew, skew things, then we, would, we, we will uh, have a pair of crystals. Okay. This is first for the problem. And the second one is, so we have reduced some crystals for other simple real algebras. For example, B, C, D, or G, or I'm not sure. Then, so we expect we can define a picture, kind of notion of pictures for other pre algebras, B, C, D. Okay. And the last one is a fine case, but I, I, I do, do not have to formulate it. Uh, so, anyway, so we'd like to see these things. Okay, I stop here. Thank you.